What is up, everybody? Welcome to a new segment in which I cover Robert Kirkman's Secret History of Comics. Let me know what you'll think down at the bottom, but this is Nephilim Entertainment. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Matt Charnierell. Welcome back to my channel, Nephilim Entertainment. And I am going to cover a new segment, and this is my first impressions of Robert Kirkman's Secret History of Comics. It is a nice little show that Robert Kirkman, the creator of The Walking Dead, decided to do, which covers sort of, I guess, the more risque and sort of the behind-the-scenes kind of material about the comic books and the history behind them. And I mean, this is not going to be something that you're going to see on documentaries. So, somewhat from what I've gathered in the first couple episodes I've watched, it's a bit of history that's controversial. Not like, oh my god, they killed somebody, but more like, oh my god, that was going on? I didn't know that. So, um, episode one is called The Mighty Misfits Who Made Marvel. And basically, it covers. Stanley and how he sort of rose up as a figure, but it also talks about other creators who were part of the story, who are other creators and other artists who helped make Marvel characters. And which, going back to Stan Lee, apparently I didn't know this, but he wanted to be a writer. He never even wanted to really do comics because it was sort of the laughable thing of editorial. You know, comics were back when he first started back in the late for late forties, early fifties, was a bit more just for kids and just a means to entertain the masses, just in a small general bit. They didn't rise up in popularity at first, and but after a while, of course, you know the history of how comic books came to be. Well, Stanley wanted to be a writer. He was really reluctant, so he made a last minute gamble as far as being a writer whenever he was asked to do something that would compare with the Justice League of America he came out with the best four. Well that blew up in a sense that it became very popular so a high demand for comic books and comic book characters came to stay elite. And another character who you may recognize as being part of DC2 is Jack Kirby and apparently he is as much behind the scenes as Stan Lee, if not more. And they list a bunch of other characters. One particular is the creator of Spider-Man, who, ironically, his name escapes me. Because this is the point of the story that they were getting at. Stan Lee became the head figure of Marvel. I mean, he was pretty much the household name. Everybody else was kind of taking sort of a back seat to Stan Lee. Which... Stanley, a lot of times, at some point, he became the editorial, so he became their boss. And he would actually write out scripts, and the other guys would draw it. So, even though the artistry and the artwork came from the other guys, the story context really came from Stanley. But we find out, like, one character that was not created by Stanley, that was sort of at a last minute done by Jack Kirby himself was the Silver Surfer and of course he we all know how much he blew up in popularity I mean he's been part of the franchise for many 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 years so we find out that even though Stan Lee I respect him and admire him as a nerd he basically stole the spotlight from a lot of other guys in fact that's put him at odds with a lot of the other artists including Jack Kirby and part of the reason why Jack Kirby left was that he was not getting the recognition that he felt he deserved. Stan Lee does not know exactly the full context of why they left but it's all theorized that they left mainly because of the spotlight so let me know what y'all think down below. Do you find this show interesting? I don't know if my <laughs> summarization gave it enough justice it's one of those you had to watch it for yourself to get the because they don't just tell the story they also add um, animation to it in a way drawn in the style of the back in the 1950s comic book which is intriguing but let me know what y'all think down below 
and also up here. Is this something that you're going to watch? Is this something that you'd be more interested in too? I'm going to do my best to cover this and give you more content. But if you like this, give, leave me a big thumbs up. Post some comments down below. Stay tuned to the end of the episode for more content. My name is Metatron Yarell and you're watching Neckle Entertainment. To all you daydreamers and creators out there, keep your heads in cloud. Peace.